Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that y equals x squared minus k multiplied by root x, where k is a constant. And in part a, asked to find dy by dx for two marks. And in part b, given that y is decreasing at x equals 4, find the set of possible values of k for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for part A then, we need to differentiate then y equals x squared minus k root x. And I'm going to change the root x into a power ready for differentiating. And you should know that that's x to the power 1 half. So when it comes to differentiating this with respect to x, dy dx in other words, in the usual way, multiply the power with the number in front of x and reduce the power by 1. So you're going to have 2 times 1, which is 2. Reduce the power by 1, you've got x to the power 1, or just simply 2x. And for the second term, minus k times a half is going to be half k, or k over 2. And then reduce the power on x by 1, so that's x to the power minus a half. So you could leave it like that. But knowing that we're going to work out part b, the value of dy dx when x equals 4, I'm going to change that to a better term. Okay, Write x to the power minus a half as 1 over x to the half, or 1 over root x. So k over 2 multiplied by 1 over root x is going to be k over 2 root x. So when it comes now to part b, this particular form is more useful, I feel. Because it says, given that y is decreasing at x equals 4, find the set of possible values of k. Now remember that when you have decreasing functions, a curve is actually going downwards, okay, something like that, so that at any point on the curve, let's say we've got a point, say there, the gradient of the tangent would always be negative, okay, at that point. So dy by dx, which gives the gradient, would be a negative number, it'd be less than zero. So it's that idea that we use here, and we can see that when x equals 4, then we know that dy by dx must be less than 0. So therefore, if we substitute x equals 4 into here, we've got 2 times 4 then, minus k over 2 root 4, and that's got to be less than 0. In other words, we've got 8 OK, minus, and then on the bottom here, root of 4 is 2, 2 twos are 4, so you've got k over 4 must be less than 0. And if I add k upon 4 to both sides, I've got k over 4 must be greater than 8. Multiply both sides now by 4, and you end up with k must be greater than 32. OK?